The cow is one of the most important animals in terms of mythology and veneration. And there probably is not another animal that has been held in such esteem as the cow. Hathor, the Kemetic or later Egyptian goddess of beauty and war, who was a creator, was often depicted as a cow, which symbolized her maternal and celestial aspect. And although her most common form was a woman, she was often shown wearing the headdress of a cow or bearing cow horns and of course the sun disc symbolizing her role in creation. Hesat is another ancient Egyptian goddess who had the form of a cow and she was said to provide humanity with milk called the beer of Hesat and in particular to suckle the pharaoh and several ancient Egyptian bull gods. In the pyramid text, it is said she is the mother of Anubis and of the deceased king. In Norse mythology, the primeval cow plays an important role in their creation myth. The primordial frost Jotun, Yamir, feeds from her milk, and over the course of three days, she licked away the salt, salty rime rocks and revealed Buri, who was the grandfather of the gods and brothers Odin, Vili, and V the first of the Asir. In ancient Hindu texts, the cow appears as the divine creature, which fulfills all desires. Its horns symbolize the gods, where its four legs symbolize the ancient Hindu scriptures called the Vedas. And its udders symbolize the four objectives of life, including material wealth, desire, righteousness, and salvation. The nomadic ancestors of the ancient Egyptians were dependent on their herds for survival. This is evident in that the cows were treated as sacred animals as early as the 6th millennium BCE. And cattle cults remained an essential part of North African religion and mythology during the entire span of the pharaonic culture. Human beings were said to be God's cattle, and bulls were revered as symbols of masculine strength and virility. Many gods during this period had a bull form, and sacred bulls were often kept as pets at many temples. A sky goddess who took the form of a cow was among the earliest of cosmic deities. The cow goddess, under all of her names, represented the loving and nurturing aspect of the divine. Kings and later humanity in general played the role of the calf in the scenario of the divine cow. In early times, the king of Egypt was compared with the leading bull of his herd, able to defeat all challengers. And bulls as fighters were particularly associated with the god Montu, who is a manifestation on earth of the butchest bull. The white bull of men embodied male sexuality. The Minerva bull was said to be the messenger of the sun god Atum Re, who engendered all life itself. The Apis bull is an earthly manifestation of the creator god Ptah, and the moon was thought of as a virile young bull when it was waxing and an old oxen when it was waning. But while bulls were routinely hunted and killed as symbols of the forces of chaos, and in some myths, Set took the form of a bull to trample his brother Osiris to death. This Seth bull was ultimately castrated by Anubis and forced to carry the coffin of Osiris to burial. In the pyramid text, the great wild cow of the marshes is the king's mother or wet nurse in the afterlife. In pyramid text spell 485a, the dead king is described as the golden calf of the milk goddess Hasset, and two parallel cow-calf mythologies developed into one. The cow goddess is said to embody the great flood and gave birth to the sun child in the primeval marsh at the dawn of time. The great creator goddesses Hathor and Neith could both be identified as his cow, and Neith was said to have carried the infant son the full length of Egypt seated between her horns. In the secondary myth, I heat the cow goddess birth to and suckled the infant Horus. 
The eye hit cow was commonly identified either with Isis or with Hathor. One of Set's many crimes was stealing the milk from the cow who suckles the child god. Both Hathor and the sky goddess Nut could be represented as cows whose body was patterned with the stars. The Book of the Heavenly Cow describes how Nun first lifted the sun into the heavens between her horns. The horn head of the sky god acted as a symbol for the daily cycle of death and regeneration of the sun. The, the sky cow was the mother goddess of the cosmos who gave birth to both day and nocturnal versions of the sun. And to further elaborate on this idea, the chest in which Osiris was regenerated was turned into the body of the cow goddess Sentayet. The ordinary dead could hope to be welcomed into the underworld by other forms of the cow god. 